One time, Alphys's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. Jeez. And fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. <laughs> but I admire his lifestyle. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Oh. This oven is some top-of-the-line MIT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Hmm. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Why? Can I go in the bone drawer? Yes. <gasps> <gasps> Motherfucker. <laughs> He's always coming back. <laughs> I hate cold food. So Elf has fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention! Get rid of the oven, though. Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in I feel like I'm making her sound too much like like papyrus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops. You, you, you like 1% gradually went into it over time and yeah. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? True, true. True. Cloud did it. Ha! I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to her room and, uh... You want to see my room? Yes. Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. So we can? Uh, we let's can. just talk to her. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Yeah, Tomar. Yeah. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Ah. She a skinny bitch. Yeah, she twink. Without all that armor on, yeah. All set, what would you like? Oh my god! Hey! Bitch! Don't get up! <laughs> You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Ugh. Uh, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Do we want tea? Or... Uh, yellow liquid? No. Or soda? Uh, or hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. Mm. Well, there's tea. Or tea box. Chocolate. Blatantly correct choice, it says, though. Yeah, yeah, blatantly. Okay, uh, do the dab. Yeah! <laughs> uh, chocolate milk tea, huh? Coming right up. It's so blatantly right. Hmm. She spat in it. She mm. shit in it. No, she, she never. It. It's a lactate. It'll involved. take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> She did a bit of a lactation movement. Ew. I think Ew. that may be in oh, this canon of Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's built into all the canon. I think maybe Undyne is a mammal even though she appears to be a fish. And she uses lactation. Okay, it's all done. Cool. This is a question, but is there male and women fish? Yes. Yes, yes there is. I'm fucking yeah. stupid. Yeah. Haven't you ever seen Finding Nemo? Yeah, but that's a cartoon. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Here we are. Nom, nom, nom. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already! You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. Hmm. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! God, mm. she's so passive-aggressive. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange to choose- you chose that tea? Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both TOTAL WEENIES! Sort of. Oh, well. I'm not. You, you know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? 
I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> hmm. But, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. <laughs> That's part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's right. Oh my god. Nothing <laughs> has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Jesus. Ah! Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients! Now it's my turn! Nyah! <laughs> Jesus. You made a mess. Uh, well, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... <laughs> We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely or carefully? Mm, be fierce, dude. You throw everything into the pot as hard <laughs> as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Oh shit! We got a. Um, don't worry, I got it. Okay, okay. Stir harder. <laughs> harder. <laughs> harder. <laughs> harder! <laughs> Holy fuck! Uh, let me do it. Oh my god! <laughs> you bent your nice pot. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Wow. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Go somewhere. Wait, hold right to turn up the heat. Yes. All right, it's turning up way too hot. Hotter. Oh my. Hotter, darn it. <laughs> Hotter. <laughs> Wait, that's too. You nuked her. Oh no. She became fish soup. <laughs> ah! Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Ah, uh, geez. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh. Who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! What? Woo I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. 
I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Get her so more. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Go for the eyes. Fake Should I do a fake attack? Yeah. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Oh no. Tomar. <gasps> <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you oh. either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Hmm. Huh. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Fuhu! <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Let's get the fucking hell out of here. Oh, no. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. No. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Bye. All right. Thus it, ends the little optional side arc to befriend Undyne. Aww, that was nice. That was cute. Let's have a save. Okay. Let's go get food. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's okay, baby. <laughs> oh, look, it's the Grim Femoid. Oh, yeah, he lets us go around <laughs> the Grim Femoid. <laughs> Open that box. Well, Tomer, we forgot all the voices we used to do. There's been a big time gap. Yeah. We're just gonna have to improvise. I remember all the voices. Adam remembers all his voices. I remember all my voices. I forget even how Sonic sounds. We gotta sounded. go this way to Hotland. You forget how Sonic sounds? No, he sounds like Jelly Dogs. Yeah. Chili dogs. I like chili dogs. Hey, I like eating big chili and dogs. And rosa chew. I like Here. hot dogs. I'm gonna read these little segments. <laughs> so one child is the equivalent to seven human souls. Is there any cool stuff hidden? Uh, Adam. Yeah. You gotta think of it like one w shall stand, one shall fall. <laughs> I would conquer these crafty monsters. You'd colonize them. I'd colonize every. Oh my goodness. Adam Sorry would breed to... them. I'd breed. I'd breed with a few of them, and then I let the weak ones die out. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It's a good game plan. Yeah. I remember all this crap. Survival yeah, of the fittest. Haven't we done all this stuff? Tomar, like, Tomar, you Tomar, didn't say you raised us. You, you raised us. No, I don't think that's true. The game plan. I don't think that's true. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to. Tomar, I remember you reading all of this. All right, I think you're right. I think I read all this already. It has good replay value, though. Look, is Tomar, you definitely didn't get past this part, Tomar. No, we like. The whole thing was we fought what's her name? Jasmine. We fought uh Undyne. Elvador. And then I miss Undyne. And then and then we became friends with her. Yeah, she went invited over us over house. for dinner. But yeah, we, after we fought her, I think we fell into like a trash heap or something, and that's why we had to backtrack. That's right, that's right. I think Undyne was very passive aggressive and Honestly, not pleasant. Would so. this game work if, uh, what's her name? What's here? Tubeta was an eight-year-old boy. Tubeta? To Is that- What guys, is- It's been a minute since we've played, so my apologies. Oh, who's, Wait, who's this? this? Bah! 
Sorry, Tommy, you beat him. <laughs> you can you can do him. No, on, you, you'll be better. Chris, I guarantee. No, Chris, you'll, you both do him at the same time. Tommy, both at the same time. Bah! Today's <laughs> monsters <laughs> don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. See? Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah! 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 There's no art in that action-y, mindless schlock. It's just timing-based drivel. He's right. Give me yeah. something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You've still got hope. You've still got adrenochrome? Yeah. <laughs> Here, try solving the block-pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Oh, okay. he's mean. He's like, is he a Goomba? Was he? He kind of looks like a Goomba. He See, Tomer, I knew your 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 performance. Would the be howling good. wind is now a breeze. This gives you determination. Ooh. Adam, be the howling breeze. <laughs> I was expecting more like. Whew. Oh, I can do that. Better. Have we been here yet with the ice cube? Tomer, do the Winnie the Pooh episode. Oh my God, what's happening? We're Welcome in Vegas. to Hotland. Yeah, this is where we were headed. Yeah. Hotland. All right, we made it into Hotland. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Boom. I, I feel this. like we even were here before, yeah. and then we turned back because Sans told us something. Oh, I love this thing. Yeah, this what is where is we it? gave that person the drink of water. Wait, yeah, what the heck is going on? Oh my God. Oh, kick, 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 kick. You ain't saying that a letter a lot. Yep, that's been all luck. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Waterfall? Oh. It's a water cooler. Should we take a cup of water? Yes. Take a swig of that. Okay. Oh, we f I remember what to do. The water evaporated from the heat. Oh, wait. The Life cup sucks. evaporated. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. We should probably save here. Yeah, we, we went back to do all the undying stuff at her house. Oh, that's why we were all the yeah, way back Yeah, that's what there. it was. Can we go in the lab? Well, we never went down. Ooh. We never went downwards. We no. could have just come here on this thing. Oh, whoopsie! Well, where's stupid. the adventure? Where's the adventure in that? Yeah, these guys won't let us out. Sorry, Undyne like told us there was totally a human in the area. I thought Undyne was on our side. So like, yeah. I mean, she is now, but I don't think they they got the memo. Well, I told so, you like, she wasn't real. Thing. Us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Is Undyne like the bell of the ball in this what? town? Apparently. So she's like the king or the queen? She's like the head of the royal guard. Yeah, don't so you remember? who's the leader of these people? The king. A guy <sighs> called a <laughs> something dreamer. That's a cool. I don't get what's happening. Oh, this is It's dreamy. you? Remember we were seeing like surveillance cameras in random places. Oh yeah 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 yeah. It's too dark to see near the walls. Someone left their workstation. Pretty okay, I messy. can't see anything because it's too dark. Near the walls? It's really not that dark. Oh my Ew. I just got like a shiver down my body when he walked out. Oh, the lights are back. Thank you, Mr. Crocodile. <laughs> okay, who's gonna? This is a this is a major character. Who wants to Adam, voice that? Adam should them? be him. Adam, this is you. Are you sure he's a major character? Yes, Adam. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and dot dot dot. He's gonna lay a big egg. Um... He hi ya. I'm, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal- That's the king, Asgore. Ah. ah, I'm the king's royal scientist. Ba 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 Ah, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. Wow. I was originally going to stop you, but... Watching someone on a screen put really makes you root for them. <laughs> so, 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 ah, now I want you to help you. <laughs> Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. Nice. I know right way to Asgore's castle, no problem. <laughs> well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot. Named Meta Metaton. Yeah. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. <laughs> anyway, 
Recently, I decided to make him more useful. I gave him a vagina. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just some small practical adjustments. Like a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... Anti... Antifa. Antifa human combatic features. Damn. Of course. When I saw you coming, I immediately decided... I have to remove those features. Then what was the point? Uh, unfortunately, I may have a teensy mistake while doing so. You may have made a teensy mistake. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine <laughs> with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> There's a question mark at the end of that. Human blood. What do you mean? Human blood. Yeah, right. to read Sorry, it. Sorry, right, shut up. We'll try again. <laughs> now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> there Perfect. You go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's more like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Whew. That was. Um. Oh. Oh, keep going. Tomar, I think that might just be... I think you might... Did you hear something? I don't think so. 